Hi, this is the CatCam Lessons channel and in this video I'll talk about the equality constraint. Constraints are something that define relationships between geometries. As you know, a 2D sketch is the basis for creating a 3D model and it's important that the sketch is fully constrained. And that's exactly what constraints help us with. And in this video I'll briefly talk about the equality constraint. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support. I'm going into the sketcher and so when it comes to the equality constraint, this constraint defines that the selected geometries will be equal to each other. It's a very simple constraint, but this constraint can very often make it easier and faster to create a 2D sketch. I'll start by creating two circles. The first circle with a diameter of 10 millimeters and a second circle with a diameter and now one circle is dimensioned the other circle is not dimensioned and now if I want these two circles to have the same diameter that is in this case both circles to have a diameter of 10 millimeters then instead of dimensioning the second circle we can apply the quality constraint to do this, we select the geometries to which we want to apply this constraint and select the equality constraint. This constraint can also be activated by pressing the E key on the keyboard, but we select the constraint and now these two circles are equal to each other. I'll press Ctrl Z to undo that. OK, and I'll delete this circle and I'd like to draw, for example, five circles that will have a diameter of 10 millimeters. And if we do this in the standard way, then each time we have to type in the circle diameter. And as you can see, it's quite time consuming. In this case, we have five circles and five circles have a diameter of 10 millimeters. But now let's assume that we've created the design and it turns out that we need to change the diameter of all the circles from 10 to 12 millimeters. And to do that, we just have to change the diameter of each of these circles. And as you can see, in the case of five circles, it's doable. We can simply click through and changing the diameter won't be that hard or complicated. But if there were more circles, then changing the diameter could be very time consuming. And what's more, we'd be prone to making a mistake. Now I'll delete the dimensions. And to delete a dimension in the sketcher, we select the dimension and press delete. And now we'll apply the quality constraint. For example, I will draw a few more circles to show the big advantage of the equality constraint. And now I have one circle dimensioned and now I select all the circles. OK, and I select the equality constraint and now, as you can see, the diameters of the circles are equal. And now when I change the diameter of this circle, the diameters of the other circles also change. So as you can see, this constraint is very simple to use, but it can really have many benefits when drawing to the sketches. When we are creating some 2D sketches, the quality constraint can, in some cases, speed up and simplify the creation of such a sketch. And exactly what I showed you earlier with those holes, when we create some holes with a specific diameter and it later turns out that we need to change the diameter dimension, the quality constraint can significantly simplify and speed up the creation of such a sketch. And can greatly simplify and speed up editing of such sketch. Here 
I have holes with a diameter of 15 mm. I close the sketch. Based on this sketch, I add an extrusion. Okay, we have such a blade and it turns out that these holes are too big and they need to be made smaller. We don't have to redo everything from scratch. We simply edit the sketch, edit one diameter, close the sketch and the changes are applied to all the holes. Of course, the equality constraint also works on other geometries. For example, we can define line lengths. Here we draw a line 30 millimeters long at an angle of zero degrees. Okay. And now I select one line, select the other line and select the equality constraint. And now the two lines have the same length. And I think there is nothing more to say about this constraint. It's a simple and easy to use constraint. I think the principle of how this constraint works is clear. In these videos, I want to emphasize that constraints are an important element of 3D modeling. A 2D sketch is a key part of 3D model and constraints are a key part of a sketch. Because if we are creating a 2D sketch in a CAD system, for the sketch to be correct, it should be fully constrained. And most constraints can be defined using dimensions, just like in the case of the hole diameters. We can dimension each hole and then the sketch will also be fully constrained and fully correct. However, as you've seen, dimensioning a dozen of holes can be time consuming. Additionally, it's a method that more prone to error and what's more, if a situation arises where something needs to be changed, then each dimension must be edited and each dimension must be changed. But when we use a constraint, as in this case the quality constraint, we just need to change one dimension and the other diameter dimensions are adjusted. So there may be several ways to create a correct sketch, each can give us a correct sketch, but some ways may be better than others. That's why I believe it's worth learning all the constraints. I think it's worth doing it calmly so that you know how each constraint works, so that in the future you can use the one that will give you the best results. And in the description below the video there is a link to other videos about constraints in FreeCAD. And we will finish here. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.